Here it is going now, guys. Talk now, sitting here back for another video. I hope you guys are all doing fantastically well. Slight change in location today. Currently in Waterloo in a very suave travel lodge uh, down here for work. But don't worry, I will be back for the Norwich City versus Burton game, which of course I will be at. And uh, this is, of course, the match I'm previewing. I do want to say a massive thank you to OneFootball for once again sponsoring uh, these videos. Uh, let's take a look at the OneFootball app quickly and let's see what's going on with Norwich and also Burton. So, of course, we log on uh, following Norwich City already. Links to download this app will be in the description below. Uh, so, who do I think will win, first of all? I think Norwich will win. 83% of people think Norwich City will win. 10% of people think Burton will win. That's very interesting. Let's have a look at Burton's form then. So, they're currently 22nd in the table. Uh, they are not doing too great at all. Saying that, though, have got four points. We've only got seven, uh, but they have conceded a fair few goals. They've won one game, which came against Birmingham, who we've just beaten a couple of days ago. Uh, and they've drawn one, which was against Sheffield Wednesday, and they've lost four. As you can see, their form is just here. 4-1 uh, loss against Hull, 2 no loss against Middlesbrough. And of course, their last game on Saturday was a 5 0 hammering against Leeds, who are actually doing quite well this season. A few other stats. They've only been able to uh, only manage 0.7 goals a game. Uh, they've conceded 2.3 goals a game on average. Their possession is fairly poor as well. It's under 50%, 44%. Pass accuracy, 68%. Not too bad. So they're the kind of key stats you need to know, and it doesn't read pretty for Burton, but I don't think we can write them off. Um, yes, they've just been smashed 5-0 by Leeds. What you would think would be the natural reaction from that is their manager is going to try and shore things up defensively, and that probably means a lot of people behind the ball. Um, we've managed to kind of do well against teams like that this season. I think the teams we've struggled against, the teams who are really in our face, pressing against us. I don't think Burton are going to do that. Uh, I think they will probably put a lot of men behind the ball and just hope for something on the counter. To be fair though, Millwall done that and they smashed us. So once again, we can't write this off. This is a fantastic opportunity to try and build momentum though. Two home games in three days, four days against teams that you should be beating. We've beaten one of them in Birmingham. If we beat Burton, you know, the, the, the nerves are starting to ease a little bit. And I think if we perform in the same way we did against Birmingham, against Burton, there will be absolutely no problems at all. In terms of the team I would play, I don't think I'd change things too much at all. In terms of the attacking lineup, uh, I think I'd probably keep it very similar. Um, maybe there's, a, there's an option to put Grant Hanley in there as a defender. I don't think it's needed. I think Zimmerman... Uh, done fantastically well. I think Tim Close done even better. I was so impressed with him at the weekend. So I'd probably keep that very similar. I think Steeperman done it, uh, put in a noble shift at left back. So that was absolutely fantastic. And Pinter at right back done very well as well. I think it'll be interesting to see if he keeps the captain armband. Uh, or maybe Tim Close might take it. There's been a few calls for that. So that's going to be interesting. I think Pinto done a fantastic job though. In terms of the two... Um, defensive midfielders, I think we should keep the formation the same first of all. The defensive midfielders, for me, I would probably take Tete out and put Harrison Reed in. Now, I think that Harrison Reed had a little injury on Saturday, hence the reason he was on the bench. Um, look, Tete is a great player. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. He's not a great player. He'd done a job on Saturday and he'd done a job that meant we won the game. I think without him, we would have been in a sticky situation. I think he mopped things up beautifully well. The only problem with Tete is his passing isn't great. I know he made a fantastic pass in the first half to Nelson Oliveira, and Oliveira should have scored, but except for that, his passing was a bit of a strain. As well as that, you need to keep um, Tete kind of... You need to rotate him because his knees are made of glass, and Harrison Reed is much younger, much, much fitter than Tete. Next to him, Tom Tribal definitely keeps his place. I think he was one of the star players on, um, on Saturday, so that's absolutely fantastic to see. So... That's the way I'd line things up. I think we should be going into it with confidence. I don't think we should be going in it with too much confidence, though. Let's not forget we've just beaten a Birmingham team who are very low down in the table. They're going through a slight transitional stage at the moment. They're trying to embed their identity into their team, which is the exact same that we're trying to do at the moment. So they're in a similar, similar situation to us. Burton are going to be coming to Cow Road. It's a big game for them. Uh, they're going to be fighting in a relegation battle this season. So every game for them is going to be big. And coming off the back of a 5-0 defeat, they're going to be well up for it. So it's going to be a very interesting encounter. But at the end of the day, these are games we have to be winning if we want any chance of a top six place this year. So I think we'll win. I think we'll probably win 3-1, 2-1. 
Three nil even. Let's be confident after a clean sheet. We'll get another clean sheet. So I'm going for three nil. Let me know your score predictions down in the comment section down below. And if you do want to download uh, One Football, links to them will also be in the description below. Really, really cool app who are helping me out at the moment. So big up to them. Also, a massive thank you to the other sponsors. I want to go enjoy this London weather. I'll see you at Carrow Road tomorrow where we've got a little surprise, me and Chris. Um, you'll see that in the Matchday experience. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you very soon. Peace out.